Vanadium has been used since the 1800s to harden and strengthen steel. Can you talk about the importance of vanadium as a steel alloy? Here's a, here's a statistic that, that really underscores the use of vanadium in lightweighting steel um, to, give it a, to give it some tangible metrics. Um, thinking about if you were not to use vanadium in steel making, um, it, would, it would be putting another 140 million tons of CO2 in the atmosphere. And to put that in equivalency, that's the same as the equivalent output of 260 million trees. A very, wow. very important contributor to CO2 reduction. Vanadium is starting to play a key role in the aerospace industry. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, so vanadium is used similar to the lightweighting impacts that you see in rebar. It's used in lightweighting and alloying applications in the aerospace industry. So vanadium is used with aluminum to create lightweight alloys and composites that are used in the construction and in the aerospace industry. And so what are the key ways it's used in the aerospace industry? I think you just mentioned construction and... Yeah, so you'll find, you'll find the aluminum vanadium alloys used in a number of components, but you'd use it in the, the actual uh, frame of the aircraft as well as certain components and engine components all used to create lightweight and, and high strength components in aircraft. And lastly here, are there any other promising industrial applications for vanadium? Yes, we've, we've discussed vanadium redox flow batteries, which we, as we've discussed before, see as a very fundamental driver for demand for vanadium. But there are other nascent use cases for vanadium as well. Um, there are industrious companies that are looking at using vanadium on both the cathode and the anode of uh, EV batteries. And there are, there are applications being developed for shielding as well. And so these, these use cases are, are all part of a, of a green economy or circular economy uh, type application.